Hey, welcome back, y'all. It's Phoenix, and today we're gonna be going over one of the new promos that just came out. Just probably like you know, probably just come out just like right now. It's 10 o'clock right now, and it's gonna be the international next is now promo. Now as you can see we do have Deadlift Scrimp Scrimpy Scrimp Scrimpy. Uh, we got Peja Stalactovic, Tony Parker. Zalatrius Zagaskis, uh, Ricky Rubio, and Andrew Wiggins. So the first card we are going to be going over is going to be Andrew Wiggins. Let's see the channel. Drop a like down below and drop a sub if you are new. Now, in regards to this Andrew Wiggins, it's a very, very solid card. Probably the best, you know, card overall out of this set. Uh, in regards to like pure value, what's a, like, a pure value? You look at your Ruby card your amethyst card your diamond card etc right so this is probably the best you know pure card based off of value um and yeah so here's why six eight six eight shooting guard you have 88 speed you have a decent three obviously great driving animations great driving dunk you got a decent perimeter defense you got 80 steel 70 block 85 lateral quickness overall a very balanced card and yes um, he does get clamps. So you are able to upgrade it as well. Then you can add uh, shooting badges to him if you would like. You'd be able to snipe one with shooting badges added on to him probably later on the auction house while you stay active. You'd be able to find a great budget version of his card. A, maybe even some Hall of Fame badges added to him. Now for his Sanders and animations, jump shot 22. I'm not, too, I'm, not, I'm not too familiar with that jump shot, but I'm assuming it's going to be decent. Then he also has a hell of a lot of uh, dunk packages in the game. Um, I don't know if these are any good, but you know, judging on comparisons, I did compare them, and they're very similar to Marquise Johnson. What you know about Marquise Johnson? He's a beast at the rim. So we're definitely got to look into that. Um, as far as tendencies are concerned, very solid. 95 driving dunk tendency he has a great uh, mid mid range tendency as well. Then you do have a say on ball steal, 70 contest, 80 take charge, 78 power perception. So overall, you know, very 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 decent. And then next one is going to be Ricky Rubio. He's a 6'4 uh, point guard. You know, probably one of the more underrated PGs in our game today. Um, now, obviously, this car itself, you know, it's 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 decent. Um, you know, he's a 6'4 PG, you know, he, he's a great playmaker, he's got, you know, high speed, he's got a decent mid-range, he's got a decent layup, he's got a high, he's got a decent primary defense, and he also has high playmaking stats. Now, as far as his badges, he does get clamps, but you can't add anything, anything else to him. He does not get Intimidator, which is worrying, so means that you would have to hide him on the small fork or at the shooting guard, because he will lack on ball quite a bit. He has high intangibles as well, which means that he's a higher overall than what he's supposed to be. Um, but he does have a lot of playmaking badges, right? So he does get you no know, diamond four general, wopsy passer, flashy passer. Um, I never knew Ricky was much of a flashy passer, but hey, is what it is. Uh, we got cat shoot core special. You can add shooting badges onto him, and obviously slashing badges as well. Um, in regards to his tendos, his tendos are not the best. Um, he does have a 95 Euro step layup tendency though. So you do are someone that likes to play with stick. Um, the, the rate that he does Euro steps will be quite high for you. So make sure you are ready for that. Um, his layup pack is fundamental. Jump shot 37, upper uh, where he's uh, Daniel Gallinari, who's a green window. You know, it's pretty decent, you know, especially for, you know, someone who's, um, you know, a sharp shooting base, definitely a very, very, very decent uh, green window. He does get 90 power perception and 90 steel as well. So he's going to be a decent lockdown for you. It's just that intimidator factor. It's not going to be that good, especially when it's contention at 64. I mean, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. But, I mean, this would not be a bad backup for you. Um, I would definitely run him at backup, especially if you're someone that likes to play through your bigs, your small forward quite a bit. This would not be a bad point guard to run defensively on your bench if you're trying to rock a budget squad. Um, next we're going to go is with Zion John Junas Igaskis. All right, be a lot of people's names that I have trouble pronouncing throughout this video. Um, now, this, now for for uh, for Igaskis, you know he does have a high shot three. You know you put shoot for Jared Dimer and coach on him. That's going to go up to about 86, 87. Um, he does get you know. A, crap ton of string badges he also 
can you can add baddest tools well he can't get range but if you know how to play your pick and roll correctly you know you're not gonna have to have range added on to him. i just wanted to bring it up of, of the core of him and then just pop out of nowhere um he does get you know finishing badges as well he's always been more he, he's always a good post guy uh and we're going to playmaker badges post spin break star dream shake bail out all very decent uh call the decent badges you can also add badges to him as well um these badges they're decent uh he gets pickpocket pogo stick grievon chase defender, defense interceptor um you know very very decent car 85 pro defense 85 block very similar to blake griffin's defensive stats except for the speed obviously right you gotta keep that in mind um you know overall you know, it, 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 it's, it's a decent, it's probably an above average big. I mean, if you do run this car in Unlimited, you're going to have to have a very fast four, one through four, um, because you're going to have to rotate very, very, very fast for him. But I mean, if you run Unlimited, you run four fast guys that can rotate on defense for him, then on offense, he's going to be a absolute beast for you. Now, is he the type of guy though that's going to be able to get open and score like on a Bill Russell? or on a Moses Malone, you know, I'm not too sure about that. But, you know, if he's left open, he's knocking it down. He's got Hoff and Green Machine, Hodge, Pick and Pop, Pep, 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 Maestro. So he's definitely gonna be very, very solid at knocking down his jumpers on pick and rolls and pick and pops. So you do have to keep that in mind. But like I said, you know, 91 strength, he's gonna be a score on Bill Russell and drop step him and, you know, play, play players like that, very speedy, very strong, you know? I don't know about that. You know that 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 will not work out well for you. Um, next car is with Tony Parker. Now Tony Parker has always had one of the best jump shots every year of 2K. So he has super high speed. He's got high lower quickness. He's got decent tangibles, not too high. You know, still pretty high, but not super duper high. Where you know that the car is like soup to increase the rating, right? So uh, his three point shot is also decent as well. Um, he does not get range, however. He does not get range, but he's very fast, so you can drive him very easily. Um, one thing I will say is that with him having not, with him never going to be able to dunk in a paint for you and always getting layup animations, that can be a kind of a bailout bugger for you because sometimes dunk animations, they can put you into a bad spot. And especially if you have a fundamental layup package, it's going to be very, very hard to block those types of shots um he also has tony parker's release which is very 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 good um and defensively you know you will have to add badges to him he does not get clamps but clamps is not like a necessary badge per se as long as he's not on the on ball defender i mean yeah they can pass to the shooting guard or pass to the small forward and do a drive by on you but you can always help on that with your four five one and two guards hedge down low blitz it or whatever you like to do there right so um power perception 92 85 steel like i said overall one of the greatest cards and probably not I mean, overall one of the greatest car greatest cards from this set and also i remember tony parker has one of the highest green windows in this game as he has had in previous years so his jump shot alone is going to be something that you're going to have to worry about constantly he also gets to, and also he does get a lot of badges added to him only thing you got to add is defensive badges but I mean, bro, the only thing you gotta add is like Intimidator and Scepter. Um, you know, Rebound Chaser, maybe if you want to. Pick Dodger, of course. Ball, ball Pest. And then, yeah, he, he just, he, he's straight, man. He's straight. Overall, very solid card. Um, will I be getting him? No. But he still has one of the worst jumpers in the game. Now for Peja Stalakovich. Um, we have a 95 shot three. Uh, low speed, low interior defense. That small forward is very, very, very bad. Uh, it's for defense obviously you know long sway short is the type of dude that's gonna be a pure sharp for you on a court which is kind of weird he's a pure sharp right he's a pure sharp but he doesn't get range center <laughs> he, he, he's, he's supposed to be a pure sharp and he's like famous for like shooting from deep um back when he used to play but he doesn't get range so that's kind of tough because like he can't do anything but shoot except he can't really shoot which makes no sense but, um, yeah, I mean, this is probably one of the cheaper Pink Diamond cards, I had to guess, because uh, I'll, I'll get to a while later. But anyway, he's got set shot four and Chris Paul as his jump shot at a release speed of normal. So I don't know how the hell that's going to look. 
I mean, he's D. His defense stats are very, very, very good compared to our cards. Um, you know, he, he doesn't get any defensive badges though, so it's not like it's gonna matter. Um, you, if this is similar to P. Maravich, where it's very, very good offensively, but defensively it's pretty bad. He does get 78 ball control too, though. So you put you, you could put shoe coach and everything else on him and get that up pretty good. And his jump animations are not that good though because it's all normals, right? He's got no pro, he's got no elite combos and nothing like that, so not much you can do there. Then the reward card for this set is gonna be Deadlift Scrimp. I don't know how the hell you pronounce that last name. I know first name is Deadlift, but then I don't know what the last name is. Now I've actually used this guy um, in one of my competitive My League online series before. I'm not sure I did videos on him, but uh, when I competed in one of these, you know, one of these leagues, this is one of the cards I use quite a bit. Um, Basically for this for this guy man, he's a great shooter. He's got decent speed. He's got all around defense and his jump shot's always super wet. I right, pause on that. Alright, but anyway. Um well also one of the coolest thing about this though is that he's got a gold drop step and silver back down punisher. So you're still gonna be able to work the post with him if you want to. So if someone tries to run like a you know pager, you know, you've, uh, you 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 can drop step him and then you'll take abuse of that. Um, his stand up is an 80 as well, so he's gonna catch animations. Um, for defensive badges, you can't add anything to him, but he does get clamps, intimidator, chase down artist, rebound chaser, and winding reflexes. Um, when playing on ball and off ball, clamps and intimidator is all you need. I mean, off uh, pick dodger is the only thing I really would like him to have, but other than that, bro, he's gonna be straight on defense. You know what I'm saying? You put him on three guard, be doing just fine. You can also add any of the finishing badges to him. He does get range added to him if you like to add it to him as well, which obviously you're gonna get his card. You're definitely gonna want to do. He does get Dream Shake, which is very interesting. He does get deep hooks as well. Look at his post game. He's got 84 post hook, 82 post face. Not terrible. Um, for tendencies, he's got decent drive tendencies, but his contest shots what worries me. He has a 15 contest shot tendency. Which means that he's got a tendency to back off the off ball defender quite a bit. So you just have to reset that by clicking back on to over and over again. Which, you know, it's work roundable. So it'll be paying the butt, but still work roundable. Jump shot is jump shot 40. Somewhere in a Derek Fisher. Boris Diaz. He's got Boris Diaz base. Bruce Bowen. It's obviously very nice. 156. He's got Pete Maravich, Elgin Baylor. Definitely gonna be one of the wettest jumpers in the game. He's got four dunk packages. Joe Styles Power. You know what I'm saying? He's got a post hop shot eight, hook three. Hook three is the best hook in the game, unless it's Kareem. But you know, the only Kareem is gonna get that post hook, right? Um, so which cards would I cop? But which cards are worth it? Which cards are not worth it? Andrew Wiggins, worth. Ricky, worth. Zadoskis, worth. Tony Parker, probably not gonna be worth, but then gonna be worth as time goes on. He does get cheaper. Um, but see, it's all with Igaskis worth, but only if you have the right system in place to where he's not going to get abused. You run him, you have to run a defensive power forward to guard pick and roll for you and switch matchups on, and that way he, you can, you know, kind of hide him in your defense. Um, Peja, not worth. Deadlift, not worth, but depends on your scheme because it might be worth it. Depends on your scheme, it might be worth it. But for me, that's not going to be worth. Anyways, y'all, so let's just do a little quick recap. Andrew Wiggins, worth. Ricky, worth. Z, worth, Tony Parker, worth or not worth, depending on your scheme, what you need. Uh, Peja, not worth, Deadlift, definitely worth, but it's like, it depends on your scheme. If it doesn't fit your scheme, then he's not going to be worth it. If it fits your scheme, he isn't going to be worth it. Well, well, I can tell you that from this guy, from having him on my past, you know, my league online teams. Um, very, very, very great overall card, just not the best defensively. Um, but then again, He's all around. You know, he's not the best, but he will get the job done for you. He will get the stocks for you. And he's also just like a, 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 a one of the greatest um, spot up shooters that you could be able to have. And also, he's capable of creating his own jump shot as well because it's 86 ball control. But when look at his animations, he doesn't have the best drill animations, right? So you only, you only has normal, normal dunk pad, normal uh, slide packages. So let's keep that in mind. Um, anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, good day, always guy. Peace. All love positivity, Phoenix. Y'all be good, man. And I'll see you guys in the next one.